My name is Marcus Gilmore, and I love J. Ross TV. What's up, y'all? This your boy, J. Ross, hanging out with my cat, Marcus Gilmore, drummer extraordinary in St. Louis, hitting with the Chick Catria Trio. Now, y'all know Marcus hooked me up back in the day with an interview, so we updating this joint. That boy. It's time for an update. All right, Mark, so <laughs> from, from then to now, what you been up to, man? What it's feeling like? Uh, well, you know, I played, I, I've done a lot of things with, wrote a lot of music, played in a lot of different bands. Um, a lot has changed in my life, actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I got a, I got a family now. And, Man. You know, uh, working on my album. Almost done with my album. Well, talk about that, man. What's the name of it? You got a name I don't yet? Have a name yet. Oh, yeah? I don't have a name yet. Yeah. Now, for us, a family life, man, how is that now? Like, all right, you you still doing what you do? Well, yeah, yeah, I'm still doing what I do, but I'm I'm not um you know I'm not really uh I'm still touring, but I'm trying to have more of a home base presence though than, than oh, before. Yeah? Where I, it wasn't really necessary, but now um you know it's important to be around as much as possible yeah so uh but i'm still touring though yeah all right we sitting here y'all we got the piano tuner going on so that's what you're getting ready for the second set for chick korea hey mark let me ask you this man like on your solo you did the last this last one you did man it was so so uh melodic and all that where do the creativity come from out of your mind man or out of your being I don't know. I guess it comes from everything, really. I don't know what that means, man. I can't really say it comes from one particular place. I mean, as long as I'm just trying to be as, as present as I can and sincere in that moment. Yeah. And, uh, you know, use myself as a vessel. But do you do you see it? Like, do you see the music coming or, or you you just whatever you... Sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes I, can kind of, I can kind of actually see it, but sometimes it just, there's a lot of things happening at the same time. You know, yeah. Same levels to it. So. so, how would a young cat prepare himself to be able to function like that in a in a in an on stage setting? Oh, practice, and when I mean practice, I mean like practice at home, but also play gigs, you know, play out. Yeah. Um, you know, so what, what we were just doing, you know, we're, we're um, in this particular setting, we're actually playing over uh, structures, you know, uh -huh. musical forms, and um, we're basically improvising on top of that. Yeah. But at the foundation, where well, it's I'm soloing and comping everything off of the, the melody. Yeah. The melody is key, and everything comes from there. So I, I can say, I guess, if you want like a tangible, like literal an answer, like it come, it's coming from the melody. Oh yeah. So yeah. In this case, at least, you know. Yeah. It's so very specific. So how much do all right? Uh, the creativity in your mind. What about feel? What are you feeling? Oh, I feel all kind of things. You know. Like, Come on, man. Feelings, they, cat, come, they the, come and they go. You yeah, know? I know, but see, the young cats, they the young go. cats, go, they really want to know, like, oh, yeah. you know, how do they get to where you are, man, as far as the manipulation of a song or your musical library, man, that feeling. Right, right, right. You know? So do you, like, you get excited, like, even on some of, like, the slower ballads, are you excited, like, when you just going crazy on a, on a... Yeah, I'm, ex and ex I'm I can be excited playing a ballad. De depending on you know the situation, sometimes it's more of a different type of sentiment, not necessarily always. Ex I don't know if exciting is always, the word, but it's definitely a part of it. You know, yeah. It's definitely part of it. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm going through all the feels <laughs> when I'm playing, yeah. especially when we're improvising like this, and you know, it's a conversation, so you know, we're throwing things at each other and yeah. coming back and then spit it out and do something different with it. And, you know, it's a lot of a lot of exchange. Yeah, so like now when the bass player are talking in the conversation, the drummer, what what do you like doing? You just sit back and just play it straight? Sometimes, I mean, it really, de like, you know, really depends on the musical environment. Oh, yeah? With this particular ensemble and some of the tunes we were playing with the bass, because, you know, we haven't played in a little while. With the bass solo, I would kind of just give him more foundation so he could be more free. But it really depends. You know, that's yeah. kind of more so what I was doing tonight. Um, because we're playing this music for the first time in a long time. Oh yeah. So musically, I felt like it was it probably it would probably be best to lay down like a solid foundation for him to just. Yeah. yeah. Well, you look like you look like, like you're getting younger, dude. What oh, you, really? Yeah. What you what you been taking, man? What you eating them white castles and? Ah uh, no 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 white castles. No. I'm trying to eat as little fast as possible. It happens sometimes, very rarely, extremely rarely. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm trying to drink a lot of water. I'm trying yeah. to stay hydrated. That's one of the most important yes. things you could do. So let me ask you. So the hard part for a musician. I, laugh a lot. <laughs> I know. Hey, a I'll, hey, man. God, good. Ain't enjoy the journey. Yep. But like, do you? Uh, 
do you just like grow into it or do you ever get tired of it or like when you not you don't feel like practicing what do you do you just say i'm not gonna practice or do you force well, yourself well the fact of the matter is that actually these days i i really i'm really longing to practice more because i don't have as much time away from away from the kid as i yeah. as much time away from the stage as i, as I used to yeah um, you know i have a lot more things to do with my lifestyle now so I'm always longing to get back and just kind of spend time, be one with the instrument. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, when I'm home, I don't really, I don't have a lot of opportunities to practice on the kit the way I, I you know, yeah. I had more opportunities before. Yeah. Um, but now when I practice, a lot of times I'm practicing piano because I'm trying to, you know, be able to articulate my harmonic ideas on, on that instrument. Yeah. I mean, I'm trying to articulate my harmonic ideas in the kit too. Right. But it's a different type of harmonic uh, yeah. set of harmonics. You know what I mean? It's, it's a very different. No, I don't know what you mean. I can't play a lick. What I'm saying, you know, I'm just saying, like the drum set, the drum set is a harmonic instrument. Right. You know, it's like it's not, it's not linear. It's not like a one voice. It's, yeah. We got four limbs and we got them all going sometimes at the same time. So Man. it's for orchestration. So. But let, let me ask you this though. Now, back when you was growing up, when you when you uh, were just practicing all the time, is it particular things that you can tell cats to, to work on to to, uh, to help them, you know, get in the jazz game? Oh yeah. Well, you know, I would play along to records. Um, play along to records of the of the of the greats. Though, you know, it's always it always helps to play with somebody that's you know a stronger, more experienced musician than you. Uh -huh. you know? So that's one of the best ways to get better. So, you know, sometimes you might not have access to, to playing with those musicians, but at least you can put on a recording. Yeah. It's not the same as being in the same room, but it still, it still can be extremely beneficial for you. Yeah. You know, I know uh, Hank Jones told Elvin Jones, told his little, his little brother, to, um, to practice the Art Tatum recordings. Because Art Tatum, he played a lot of he played a lot of uh, a lot of piano, but his timing was very uncanny. Oh yeah, it was movable, So it was a good exercise for a drummer to, you know, if if you want to do that kind of thing, to, to be able to to hold the, uh, uh, you know, be able to have like consistent, yeah, you know, consistent timing for metric things. You know, right, right. Metric, it's not like, well, let me ask you this: You ever been scared? I mean, mm -hmm. back in the day. Scared. When the, when the music come up on you, you know, new music or folks ask you to bring in your particular brand of creativity. Yeah, in varying in varying ways. Yeah, of course I have. How you get past it? Well, just gotta do it. <laughs> I'm not trying to advertise for Nike, but <laughs> but sometimes you just gotta do it. Like just jump, just go, just get in there, and then it's kind of like you know, swim. <laughs> hey y'all, that's information you can use. You can use hanging out at Jazz at the Bistro in St. Louis with McCab Marcus Gilmore, man. He hitting with Chick Corea, man. He just got through smashing. So uh, I'm gonna see what's going on. See if I get some footage y'all for the second set. This your boy J. Ross, man. We 10 million strong and we gone. Peace.